What's up all my gamers of YouTube? Welcome to another exciting episode of Gamers Tubecast, hosted by your boy Noob Side about the Universal Gamer. Coming at you guys with episode 17 of Gamers Tubecast. So strap on your seatbelt, enjoy the ride, and let's go. The first topic within my gaming news segment is giving you guys the PlayStation Plus update. Now, when Xbox Live Gold start kicking off and getting the ball rolling on the stuff they're going to be doing as far as giving away free games and stuff on a regular basis, then in my Gamers Tubecast, I'll be giving you guys an update across both Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus. But since Xbox Live Gold just got started and they don't, they don't got that much stuff yet, they got a couple of free games like uh, Fable 3. Um, Halo 3 and I think some other little knickknack stuff but not as much as PlayStation Plus yet because they just got started so get them a little bit of time to warm up and stuff like that and I'll be giving you guys updates on a regular basis on my Gamers Tubecast as far as Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus. So let's go ahead and see what PlayStation Plus has to offer for itself. Battlefield 3, free to play with PlayStation Plus. Now, I got Battlefield 3 myself for PC, don't have it on console, it looks amazing on PC but it's more user friendly on consoles is more easy to get into a game on consoles and easy to connect and you have to worry about being on a web browser and even if you want to play single player you got to be inside a web browser and stuff like that and download the latest plugins and stuff like that and make sure origin is up to date and you have to have origin in order to play battlefield 3 on pc so it's kind of a hassle when you first get the game but once you have the game installed on your pc and everything running fine it's more smoother but it still has its hiccups and stuff like that so I am gonna play this on console just because it's more easy to get into the game even though it looks better on PC or whatever. Um, there's also some games you get with a discount, a part of the summer sale inside the PSN store with PlayStation Plus. And those games are, just a handful of games I'm gonna list right here. And those games are Batman Arkham Asylum for $5, Mortal Kombat PS3 for $5, Mortal Kombat PS Vita for $5, Shadow of the Colossus HD for $5, Ratchet and Clank HD Collection $7.50, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, $37.79 and that's just to name a few there's still some more stuff more games that you get a discount with PlayStation Plus so take advantage if you got PlayStation Plus and yeah next topic Final Fantasy 7 on Steam I don't know what took so long for them to put this game on Steam maybe, maybe it's an agreement between Square Enix and Steam and, and stuff like that I mean not Steam but uh Valve you know they probably had some kind of agreement they had to go through and stuff and you know you guys never know what goes on these days you know as far as getting agreements to do stuff and letting people do stuff and sell stuff and use certain characters within a game but anyways um this game been on PC a long time ago, it's nothing new, but for it to be on Steam with Steam achievements and stuff and you can use your controller, it's pretty cool. It looks more smoother on PC, it's a tad bit smoother and especially if you're gonna be playing on a big screen. So, you know, just to have it, Steam achievements, even though Xbox and PlayStation achievements are more intuitive, but still, you know, it's still kinda cool. Last topic to my gaming news segment. App Store five year anniversary giveaway. If you have an iDevice, like an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iRobot, I don't know, but they gave you five games and these not no any measly, you know, little cheap measly games where you know, just some games you're gonna play one time and throw away. Cause these are top rated games. Even though I, myself, I don't play that many cell phone and you know, I don't play many cell phone games and stuff like that because you know it's like an appetizer to a, a, a actual gamer a gamer that has a ps vita 3ds and game consoles we don't too much play that much of cell phone games or app games and stuff like that because those are like appetizers to us not saying that those are bad because a lot of appetizers actually taste better than the actual full meal so you know but anyways with that said you get games like badland infinity blade 2 Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, Tiny Wings, and Where's My Water. All five of those games are free. You also get some other little knickknack, uh, not knickknack, but you also get some other little free apps and stuff like that that's free to download and stuff. These games are highly rated. A couple of these games got a perfect score. So, um, yeah, and I already, I already got these games downloaded on my iPhone 5. So, yeah, I'm gonna be playing these bad boys. First topic within the Spit Game segment is that Microsoft may be getting away with attempted murder. You guys, the consumers, are the jury. It's up to you to decide if they're going to get away with murder or if you're going to make them pay for what they tried to do. What is attempted murder? Attempted murder is if I held a gun up to somebody's head, squares the trigger, and my gun misfired. I'm, go I'm taking my black ass to prison for attempted murder because I attempted to murder that person. The only reason why I didn't murder that person is because my gun misfired. But if my gun would have fired, then I would have murdered them. 
Microsoft may be getting away with attempted murder. I'm seeing it already because a lot of people was mad about how Microsoft said that, oh, you gotta be online at all times. Oh, if you let your friend use your game, you can't use your game no more because now you just gave them the license to that game after they put it inside their console. So now it's not gonna play on your console anymore. You know, so Microsoft was saying all this crazy stuff thinking that they have so much fans on their nuts. So many people on Halo nuts and so many people on Gears of War nuts that people are gonna overlook that. Oh, we don't care. Go ahead and do that, Microsoft. 500 million of us don't care. Hell no, the people went ham. Anywhere there was bread and cheese, people went ham. They was not having it, and that was a good job. But now Microsoft changed their minds and okay, never mind, I changed my mind about murdering you guys with these uh, accusations that we were, are these little things we were gonna do with the new Xbox. Always looking and spying on you with the Kinect, always on and stuff. Now we're not doing that anymore. You still attempted to, so you're still guilty. Because if people was okay with it, then they would have went ahead and did it. They wouldn't have stopped, like, oh, we changed our mind because we felt like it was wrong that we trying to take advantage of you guys and stuff like that and make money on top of money, on top of money off you guys. They would have went ahead and, and did what they wanted to do if it wasn't for the fans were getting mad. But since they got mad, they changed their mind. You know, the Microsoft, they know what the hell they was doing. Since the fans had a big uproar against what they were trying to do, they changed their mind. That's the only reason why they changed their mind because everybody got mad and was switching over to uh, the PlayStation. If you love Microsoft, you love the Xbox, then go ahead and get the new Xbox. You know, ain't, no, ain't nobody stopping you. But for you to say, oh, f, f that new Xbox. I'm getting the new PlayStation because all this little crazy stuff. But now Xbox, now Microsoft changed their mind. So now you're going to hop back on to the bandwagon of Xbox and stuff like that. Why would you do that for? They just attempted to murder your ass right now. So since they changed their mind about murdering you, now you're going to go back? Think about that first. I just want you all to think about that. I'm not here to tell you which one you should buy because I'm not going to buy neither of them when they first come out. But I'm buying a PlayStation when, it, when I do end up buying one. But I'm just saying, think about think about what you're doing, man. I'm looking out for you guys. So think about that for a second. They would have did that shit if it wasn't for a lot of you guys having a big uh, discussion about it on forums and, and on YouTube videos and stuff like that. So you got to be careful. So last topic within the Spit Game segment, here to let you guys know two games I'm getting and what I'm getting it for, or what platform I'm getting it for. Cause you know, two big games are coming out. You know, it's more than two big games coming out, but you know, two of the biggest games are coming out, Call of Duty, Ghost, and GTA 5. Will I be getting either one of those games? Yes, I will. Will I be getting it at launch? Yes, I will. What platform will I be getting each of these games on? Are uh, getting each of these games for? Call of Duty Ghost, I'll be getting that on PC. And GTA 5, I'll be getting that on PC. Now, I know a lot of people, oh man, why the hell you getting it on PC? <laughs> Shut the hell up. The reason why I'm getting it on PC, because like I said before, I'm done with current gen consoles. Like, it just can't keep up no more. Like, I'm just tired of how the graphics look on the current gen consoles when it comes to, like, when new games come out, it just looks horrible. I'm surprised Halo 4 looked that good. You know, Halo 4 looked freaking amazing, man. The single player I'm talking about looked amazing. So um, I'm getting on PC, I'm done with current gen consoles. Not completely, I'm still playing the current gen consoles. I'm still gonna be playing it for years to come, but I'm not buying no new games for current gen console. I'm buying it, all the games that need to be on next gen, I'm buying on PC or on next gen console. So if a game comes out for next gen and current gen, and I don't got a next gen console yet, then I'm buying it for PC, if it's on PC. So as you can see, I got a new segment that's gonna take place inside my Gamers Tube cast here and there called Gaming FYI. Now what this is, is I let you guys know about something that you probably don't realize by watching my gaming videos. You know, any one of my gaming videos, I probably do something that you guys don't see on camera or you don't realize I do or that you watch all the time, but it's probably went right over your head even though it's right there in front of your face. And that's why I named it Gaming FYI and I'll be, I'll be bringing those moments up inside my Gamers Tube cast. So the first Gaming FYI, which I really don't want to bring up right now, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways. Gaming FYI, I do 85% of my videos, my well, not my videos, but I do 85% of my Gamers Tube cast episodes inside my boxers. So I have a shirt on, but no pants on or whatever. And right now I have a shirt on and no pants on because you guys can't see below my little desk thing right here. So why have pants on when I can just relax and let my legs free and let air blow between my, I uh, don't, I won't finish that sentence. But anyways, yeah. So that's your first gaming FYI and there'll be more to come in the future. So yeah. So I'm here to let you guys know the games I've been gaming recently. The games I've been playing recently, and there are nine games I've been playing recently, and those games are The Last of Us for PS3, Halo 4 Multiplayer for Xbox 360, Little Big Planet Karting, Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus, which I've been playing the hell out of, 
first off playing this game a little bit at a time but now i'm like deep inside of it i've been playing it like hell at night before i go to bed just laying back in bed just playing it man ps vita is sick man you play like a full-fledged game in bed just kick back in bed you know without sitting up just lay back or whatever just man so yeah i've been playing that in bed every night just cause two on pc Assassin's Creed 1 on PC. I got the Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 bundle. Only played Assassin's Creed 1. Never played the other ones. But the only reason, the only reason why I'm playing through 1 again is because so I can refresh my memory on a story. So when I play Assassin's Creed 2 on my PC, I know what's going on. But I beat Assassin's Creed 1 originally on Xbox 360 a long, long time ago. I got that game when it first launched. And I love it. Ghost Recon Future Soldier Guerrilla Mode on Xbox 360. Split Second on PS3, which I got free to play with PlayStation Plus. That game is amazing. Reminds me of Burnout with all kind of crazy mayhem going on at the same time. And last but not least, Where's My Water, which is like I brought up earlier. It's free, uh, the download. And, uh, it's, it's free, completely free well, for a five-year anniversary uh, app, app store giveaway. Here to let you guys know the games I finished recently. I only finished one game recently and that game is The Last of Us. Now I know for my faithful watchers out there that really pay attention, you're probably thinking, wait, you said that in such a last gamers tube cast. I know, because I finished it for the second time. I finished it normal and then new game plus normal. And then I'm gonna play through it halfway again on normal so I can upgrade all my weapons. I still got like three weapons I haven't upgraded yet. And then I'm gonna start all over and play it on the hardest difficulty, play through the whole thing and then play it all, all over again on new game plus on the hardest difficulty. So yeah, yes sir, gaming rant. I'm here to do a rant about people out there. It's gonna be a short rant, not a long rant. You know, just a little, just a little shorty. You know, why? Not why. I'm just gonna make. I'm gonna be demanding. Stop buying Madden every single freaking year. Think about what you're paying for. You are paying sixty dollars plus tax to play a new roster, new little gimmicky upgraded little features inside the single player season mode and little stuff. Think about what you're doing. Think about what would happen if nobody in the whole entire world don't buy a new Madden. Do you know what would happen? What would happen, Noob Saibot? This is what would happen. They will stop selling Madden games for $60. Instead, they will make this one Madden game that's just called Madden that has all the features constant updates and if you want the new rosters and the pro features like the new the newest features and stuff like that like a map pack you know if you want the new stuff pay 10 bucks and we can update your roster update you with the latest physics and stuff for the game and stuff like that stop freaking buying madden every year if you don't buy madden every year they will actually be fair with the sports games and make one sports game and just update the roster every year for like 10 bucks what did you what would you rather pay pay 10 bucks every year or $60 every year. Think about what you're doing. If everybody in the whole entire world don't buy gas for two days, you know what will happen? Gas will go down by like three or $4. Well, I'm, I'm, over, I'm overreacting. One or $2, it'll go down. Just for not, by not buying gas for two days, two days, gas will go down at least a dollar, at least a dollar. If nobody in the world buy gas for a week, the gas will go down half the price. The only reason why gas keep climbing is because everybody keep buying it. You know what happened if people don't go to work for one day? Just everybody in the whole entire world just don't go to work for one day. There would be like a crash of like the stock market and everything and jobs would be easy to get and all kind of stuff would go on. You get all kind of crazy benefits. People don't understand if you, you control everything. Everybody that's watching this video, everybody that's around you, we control the whole world. You think the government control everything? No, the government can't control everything without controlling us. So if we, if we turn back and control them, it's like... They, they can't, they have no choice but to, but to react and, and put us in control. It's like if I'm a cult leader and I got like 50,000 people following me and I had them killing innocent people and stuff like that, Hitler, <clears throat> and um, all those people have to do, if they feel like that's wrong, all they got to do is turn on this one person. This one person is in control, but they so mind raped that they think that it's not this one person in control. But when you actually stop and think about it, you're like, wait, hold on. If we stop what we're doing none of this stuff would happen because we actually can be in control if we want to so it's like it's the same thing if you stop buying these damn games for like ridiculous prices like an arcade games are about to be like 20 bucks next year 25 bucks next year because people are keep buying it every time they keep raising up the price people are keep buying it by the buttloads and some games are worth it but some games are not and people need to stop that crap 
So um, I'm just saying, man, stop buying Madden every year for 60 bucks. You're stupid. Like I'm here to tell you, you are stupid. I don't care how mad you get at me. You are, you can unsubscribe all you want. You're stupid. If you buy Madden every year, you're fucking stupid. Simple as that. <laughs> uh, just stupid to the fact that you don't know, you don't understand what you can do by not buying it. And to end this whole Gamers 2 cast out, which I'm not really satisfied with because I messed up so many freaking times. Hopefully I can edit this stuff right and make it turn out real good. I did so many freaking takes, man. So I'm freaking kind of rusty on this. But anyways, yeah, uh, outro segment. Here to let you guys know some things I'll be doing in the future and stuff like that. And, um, and go ahead and close this Gamers 2 cast out. First thing is I'll be making another collections video. I got like a collection of like all my like electronic boxes. I keep all the boxes to almost everything I buy. And it's all inside like a closet that's stacked up to the freaking like on a whole like little big old shelf or whatever. Cause just in case something breaks or just in case I want to sell something. Like I just sold one of my camera lenses. And my stuff sell like this real fast. And I, and I sell it for a high price, like only like 20 or 50 bucks cheaper than what I bought it for about a year and a half ago because I still got the boxes to all the stuff I buy, all the receipts to everything I buy all the plastic bags all the little like little knickknack stuff to everything I buy so if I want to sell it or something happened to it like it breaks I can send it back you can't send nothing back to the factory or back to a store without having a box it don't matter if it's strictly their strictly their fault you can't send anything back so I'll be doing a collection of that even though I don't want to and that's a lot of damn stuff but I'm gonna do it anyways and also just letting you guys know I'll be doing some real cool comic con videos so I'll be looking out for those comic con is in a week cannot wait um, it's going to be real fun. This has been my Gamers Tubecast episode 17. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave the comments down below what you think. Leave, leave your suggestions of what I should talk about. And stuff like that. I know some of you guys left some just suggestions, but I just couldn't squeeze it inside here. So sorry about that. I may, I may make a separate video about that. So with that said, I'm out. Peace.